fire. You guys want to zoom out, soft focus out of the fire to me, like to... Have a little fun. Uh, I'm Jake Schreier. I uh, directed a movie called Robot and Frank. Uh, it was my first film and first time at Sundance. And to be perfectly honest, I mean, it's been a complete whirlwind, so I haven't like had a lot of time to think about, like, oh, this is what you're enjoying. I mean, when you come here with a film, I mean, we've had four screenings. We've had two full days of press, which is like what you always see celebrities doing, and you're like, well, I'm not going to do that because no one cares about it. But you sit there anyway, and I mean, you're doing 15 interviews in a day. And it's kind of hard to really, you know, I mean, you're, you're almost not quite part of the festival yet, so I'm kind of looking forward in the rest of the week. I have some time here to maybe see a movie or something like that and actually get to see what's going on. It's kind of bizarre to, you know, we literally only finished, finished the thing about a week and a half ago, you know, and, and sent it off here. And so to all of a sudden have all these people writing about it, but uh, it seems like the reviews have been really good. I mean, Hollywood Reporter, Variety, New York Post, you know. LA Times, so it seems like we've been getting a good response. Plus the tweets. Can't forget the tweets. I check the tweets. First time doing it, you don't really know what's going to happen out of the gate. I think the most interesting thing about the process was that, you know, there's so many stages. You've got the script and you're telling the story once there, and then you're on set and you're shooting it and you're telling the story again, and then you're in the editing room and once again you're telling the story. I mean, each of them is different and they build upon each other, but you go through it. You know, the scenes that were good on the page, were the easiest to shoot, they were the most fun for the actors, and they were the easiest to edit. Like, it showed up all the way through. The scenes that were, where there was any kind of level of confusion in the script stage caused more confusion on set. I mean, we'd get it done, but they'd be the ones where the actors would say, you know, I don't think I'd, I don't really think I'd say this, I don't understand these motivations, and we'd have to kind of spend some time, which you don't have much of on set, figuring that out. Or it would be harder to shoot it because of, you know, the logistics in the house. If it hadn't really been figured out, you know, you can't really push the buck. It'll catch up with you somewhere, and those scenes were harder to edit. You know, I mean, it was harder to get those moments. So it, it was a good lesson that if you've caught that inkling, you know, I mean, that there might be something up. Like you really, really want to take care of that as soon as you possibly can, because it'll catch up with you somewhere down the line. A script is a blueprint, you know, but it's not its own piece of art. You know, I mean, it's, it's something meant to be, you know, improved upon and you know executed. And so sometimes when you're writing a script, you know. And I'm speaking for Ford here, sorry, because I didn't write it, but you'll leave stuff in that makes it clear. Because when people read scripts, they tend to skim quite a bit. You know, it's really rare that someone sits down and reads absolutely every word of the thing, and it's never going to be the same experience as watching it on the screen. So sometimes you'll write scenes to make certain things clear that once you actually have people like Frank Langella and Susan Sarandon performing them, you don't need all that dialogue to make it clear. So it wasn't improv, there would be a session you know, you'd run the scene on set and there'd often be a discussion of do we really need this? Like, what, you know, stripping it down to its bare essentials so that the dialogue didn't get in the way of the performance. The best advice I ever got, for whatever that's worth, was just someone said, you know, if you, if you think you're good at something, make sure that you put yourself in a position where that can be recognized and where the people recognizing it actually are in a position to help you. I tend to believe if you're really good at what you do, which obviously is a subjective idea, I think that that can be recognized. Like I think if you really are good at it, you can find a way to get it out there, but not if you make it in the desert. You know, I mean, if you make something in the desert and no one ever sees it, then obviously it's not going to get anywhere. Go get a job with people that you think like could actually help you out, and then try to prove that you know what you're doing. And, you know, I mean, that a lot of what came to me came from just kind of getting into situations and being a really annoying, pushy guy and like trying to prove myself. And you know, eventually, it worked out. Not with out a lot of you know, setbacks along the way. Hi, I'm Jake Schreier. I directed a movie called Robot and Frank, and I'm part of the Elon Sundance Experience.